What's happening? So today is pretty exciting. Lodo Instruments sent in this 100 megahertz USB scope. This is the OSCH-02. It's got two input channels and it's got this um, little plug here, which you can have these accessories. Uh, they sent this one in too. It's an isolated differential input. The only thing with this one is it only goes up to 300 kilohertz. So not going to work for switching power supplies, but maybe for uh, input line stuff or motors or something like that. So this guy was free. So I'll have to go easy on him, uh, but figured we'd hook it up and uh, see what it can do. Came with this USB cable and a couple of scope probes. So these go for about 240 bucks on AliExpress right now, uh, just for this base unit. So I think we'll just hook it up to the function generator for a quick test and we can see how the software works. So to get the software, we have to go to lodoinst.com, which loads surprisingly slow for whatever reason. We can change it to English. And now, downloads software. And this one is a link to a Google Drive. So, if you put that on another tab, you get this. Here's my folder with, uh, this is the Google Drive file here. So you need Win7zip to unrar it, and then in here, there's software and drivers. So if you have Windows 10, it looks like you don't really need the drivers, but this one's the HO2. And then you gotta get this, unrar this uh, oscilloscope for Windows. And then in here, it's this OSCH02.exe. So that starts full screen. I'm only recording part of my screen, so. It's kind of a funny little program here. It has this thing, but you can't, I can't seem to change the size of the window for whatever reason. Uh, but you can start the device, and here's the waveform. This one kilohertz sine wave, you can adjust these knobs. All right, I'll go uh, up the frequency and make a square wave and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is at uh, 15 megahertz square wave. So see what we can find here. So I checked that on my other scope and it uh, just kind of looked like a sine wave on that one too. So I changed it down to, I think one megahertz is about as good as this function generator will do for a square wave. Uh, so you can see it's wobbling a tiny bit. So we can check it out on the Rody Schwartz scope here. So this is what it looks like. This is just doing a screenshot, but it is a little bit more steady on this one. All right, so I've dialed it back to 100 hertz and two volts peak to peak to get a super clean signal. And what I wanna do is write some Python code to control the scope. So I reached out to Lodo Instruments and they were nice enough to send me some example code for their API in Python. So I've modified it slightly. The first thing was it was written in an old Python 32 bit. Uh, so I had to convert it to 64 and I also added in matplotlib so we could view the waveform in a plot. And uh, the other thing was all the comments were in Chinese, so I translated those. And you can see going through here, uh, you also have to get the DLL. It was referencing a 32-bit DLL, so I got the 64-bit one just from their install directory for the program. So if you look through here, they have the first step. They have this pretty well uh, labeled with different steps. So setting the oscilloscope to number seven, 
that's where you select which model of the oscilloscope you have. Uh, 7 is this one that I have the O2. And then you're turning on the device, getting the first address of the data buffer, and setting the buffer to 128 kilobytes. Let's see what I got here. Setting the channel input range for A and B. Setting the coupling, trigger mode, rising edge, start the acquisition, wait 200 milliseconds, check if it's complete, and this here is where we get the data and uh, put it in some arrays. So these guys here I've added in doing a little calculation so the time array here is just the iterator divided by the sampling frequency and then this um, channel A and B are calculated with uh, 10 volts so that's the uh, range so we're going minus 5 to plus 5 so that's 10 volts times the value and the value that's read is a uh, 0 to 55 number from the 8-bit A to D converter ADC so we're subtracting 128 because uh, 0 volts is 128 and then dividing by 256 because uh, that's how many bits so then we do the matplotlib stuff here where it uh, creates the plot and sets the range from minus 5 to plus 5. Then turn everything off and close it. So we can run that. Oops, we have to remember to turn this guy off first. The connection fails, so we can run that. Okay, I think we have to close the program completely. Okay, I gotta change this title here too. There we go. So here it is. You can see it's a little bit funky here on the beginning and the end and it's uh, not quite centered on zero either it's a little bit offset and I think it's scaled slightly wrong too so it doesn't quite match up as well as their software does so I guess it needs a little more tweaking they also have this manual that has a bunch of info so this is where you can look up the different bits and stuff to set for the different settings the different device numbers and all that stuff so one thing i might work on in the future is uh, translating this to english <laughs> but you can gather uh, most of what to do without even worrying about the chinese stuff because all the numbers and everything and all the functions are in uh, english i guess so it's not that long actually it's only 12 pages so I went ahead and created a github for this project it's github.com slash circuit analysis slash loto and I uploaded the files here so there's the DLL files there's the manual and this capture waveforms.py is the one that we were just looking at so you can play around with this here and maybe in the future I'll work on translating some stuff or adding some more things or if anyone wants to help out with that you know feel free and also feel free to post in the comments if you're using this and you want to collaborate on developing any of this stuff so that's it for today uh, if you guys have any other USB scopes you like or use let me know in the comments I've got a hand tech and an OON as well that I might make some videos on in the future so let me know if you're interested in that and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time